So, today we're traveling 800 years back in time and I'm bringing you a recipe from an 800 years old cooking book. Sadly, the book in Arabic, but I linked it down below. You can go and check it, but it's still in Arabic. So we're trying to mimic the recipe as best as we can. This book has been written as a narrative, so the writer did not be like ingredients and then how to make it, it's just like a narrative writing. So we're trying just to follow it as best as we can. And the other important thing about it, they don't give you portions. They just tell you cut your meat, add salt, add whatever. So it's everything is gonna be to taste and that's what we're gonna roll on with. Let's roll the intro. Let's cook American food. But it's not American food. Well, it's not American food. Alright, step number one. It said cut the meat to small pieces. So we're just gonna cut the meat to small pieces. I'm just gonna use half of this and the other half I'm gonna use it for another meal from that cooking book. It did though say fatty meat, so we know the meat has to have fat. Well, after we cut our meat, it said put it in a pot and boil it with salt. So I'm gonna put it in a pot and then add some salt and then add some water. I'm just really up eyeballing the salt. So probably it's gonna end up being a tablespoon or so. I'm just gonna add enough water to cover up the meat. And then it said bring it to a boil, so I'm gonna put it at the highest heat. While that is going on, I'm gonna prepare the other stuff. We will add an onion and a half to it. It said also cut the onion to small pieces. I'm gonna cut them to small pieces. But not very, very small, because I don't know what their standard for small was back in the day. But I will call this small enough. Almost forgot it also called for a celery in the soup with the salt. We are back. The recipe said when the meat is about to get done, like half cooked like this, go ahead and grab all the foam from above and clean it. We don't need the foam. That's clean enough for me. All right, at this stage, it asks us to add onion after we chop them finely. So I'm adding a lot of onion here. It asks for a spice mix. And the spice mix is black pepper, ginger, cinnamon, and mystic. Mystic is kind of a tree sap. It's one of the tree saps you can use and it has some sweet flavor to it. So you can exchange it with one fourth spoon of a vanilla paste or a vanilla extract if you don't have mastic. Or you can buy it from the link below. It's not an affiliated drink link, so I don't make any penny out of that. I'm just helping you here. I put them all in here and then you have ginger as well. What I did is a teaspoon of each. Teaspoon of ginger, teaspoon of cinnamon, teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of mastic. Then after you add it, mix it. And then we are gonna add our grind mint, which is also about a teaspoon. Hmm, it already smells like a party in here. All right, while this is happening, it's the part that we all waited for. This plate is called tufahiya, which means it has apple in it. And now we're gonna introduce the apple. It asks for a tart apple, the one that has more sour to it. So the best one I found is the Granny Smith, I think. Let me check the name. It's like, you see this ch apple chart? It's the one that is the most tart. That one we're gonna use. I'm using three apples, or maybe an apple and a half, or two apples and a half, depends on if we're gonna eat them or not. Okay, um, the recipe said then juice the apples. So I'm gonna use a food processor to juice them. You can use a normal processor, you can just pat them down with anything. It's specifically said to use a stone made um, hawan. I don't know what's the name in English. The thing that you crush the stuff in, I was just using for the mint. It said use a stone one. I don't have a stone one and I know using a stone one will take forever. So I'm going for the fast approach. But use a stand mixer because it's gonna do exactly the same job. After we grind it into a paste, now we're gonna juice it. My plan to do that is using a mesh and a bowl. And then just drop everything in the bowl and hope it didn't work. So plan B, press it with a plate. Pressing it with a plate tend to work better. Yeah, a piece of cheesecloth apparently worked the best. 
And then you add all this juice to the meat. And you mix it and wait for the meat to cook. And then you can keep it on low heat until the serving time comes. So yeah, I will see you when it's the serving time. I almost forgot, but the recipe asked for almond. So I'm adding like two handful of almonds. It said optional if you want to. So I'm gonna do every if you want to in the recipe. All right, to serve our food, I'm gonna serve it in a rice plate. Cause I think this will go well with rice. Mm. It is ready and it smells and looks really good. And here you go, an 800 years old recipe cooked in modern day. Enjoy. I'm gonna have friends coming over to try it. It's gonna be good. Thanks. Okay. So this is the tapatia. Oh, it looks like soup. Yeah, it is soup. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what kind of meat is it? That's beef. Okay. The recipe did not specify what meat, so I guess they wanted goats. Oh. Is that what is commonly eaten, but it might also be beef because they have a lot of cows. <laughs> and it's got celery and onion and, and ginger, uh, apples. Uh, and I'm sorry, this is human food. <laughs> so she doesn't really jump. No, she doesn't. That's one good thing. That's really good. You wanna eat it in front of the camera and give us your opinion? Oh, uh, I can. The honest opinion that would be it's really good. <laughs> yep. Are you gonna eat it too? Yeah. Okay. I guess you need to get closer oh. to the front frame. Okay. Is it doing? Oh, I think so. Oh, okay. Maple, you shouldn't bark at me. <laughs> yep, that's it. Oh, God. Yeah, that would happen when you have something in your oh. mouth and you're... Bless her little heart. You okay, girl? Jeez. Good girl. Oh! I do taste the apple. Yeah. It's kind of sour. Sour? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the sour kind of apples. Okay, that's why then. Mm -hmm. The recipe specifically said sour apple. Hmm. It's good. Yeah. It is. This is what a king, but what a caliph. It's exactly like a king back in the day would eat. Oh. Maybe you change the rice with something else, but... Like what? I don't know. I mean, they ate rice. They have a lot of rice recipe, which I might try next time. That's good. Surprisingly good, yeah? Yeah. Ooh, thank you everyone for watching. If you like it, please leave a like, subscribe, and leave me a comment below. And hopefully having a girl in the video <laughs> gain you more views. <laughs> oh gosh. And a puppy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that worked, I don't know. <laughs>